Pokemon Trainer. We'll have Pokemon Trainer versus Fox. But Sweetie, uh, a player who's typically known for playing about three or four characters. Yeah, but right now, Sweetie has primarily Pokemon Trainer and Pichu. Those are the best, his best two. But I, I feel like he more likely want to play Pichu in this matchup. Pokemon oh. Trainer. I could be wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, like, a lot of uh, Pichus and Pikachus, they love the Fox matchup. Like, they're, they're able to get their loops in as well as... I mean, we saw just how many loops uh, Esam was able to get in his set versus uh, a Fox player. Yeah. So, but I feel like um, Sweet T actually a bit more... feels com more comfortable on Pokemon Trainer as compared to... Uh, uh, as compared to Pichu right now. He's definitely played, he's definitely in, uh, had a lot more time and experience with Pokemon Trainer than he has with Pichu. So it might just kind of be, you know, leading with your best foot forward. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I honestly feel like Sweet Tea is more of a Pokemon Trainer main. And actually getting a lot of damage with Squirtle. And right, he's continuing to get these grabs and just convert into easy damage and then resetting back to neutral. Yeah. And that, uh, uh, like, that's kind of one of the things that... Uh, oh, great dare! That was amazing! But one of the things that's different between uh, Squirtle versus Pikachu versus Squirtle versus Fox is that Squirtle's able to get his combo game more. And it, like, it actually feels like it's more of a Squirtle uh, favorite matchup. Oh, but the illusion into up air from CD, that was an amazing confirm. And that's right. Now Sweet T's right back to Squirtle. We're going to see the Whirlpool. No, we're seeing three up airs into a forward air. And even trying to catch him with the water gun, that's messing up the illusion recovery. And right now, Sweet T actually racking up all this damage to Squirtle. This might be the, about the time where he's going to switch. Right yeah. now. Yep, there it is. And of course, being at these higher percents is going to allow Ivysaur to use his uh, his tools for a kill. Oh. Dropping below ledge. Oh. Not going for the down air. What? He messed it up. Uh, he, he probably like... Well, you can't really even blame Seastick Nair anymore. <laughs> that, that was definitely not Seastick Nair. It's, it's, okay, yeah. here's your opportunity. Go for it There again. we go. Good night. <laughs> how, how dare you try to snap to ledge against Ivysaur? <laughs> what are you thinking? All right, Squirtle time. Squirtle Squad in the house. The directional air dodge gonna avoid that up smash. And ZD yeah. landing a few nares. Yeah, look, making nair, making nair look like how up smash should look like. I mean, up air should look like. Oh, trying to gimp him out with the dare. Oh, but actually getting the reverse hit of the nair. But that, not that time. Nair and up smash gonna confirm that time. I mean, the classic still, of course, in Smash Ultimate. Nair into up smash. The, you know, the baby of a uh, fox. Foxes all over the world. Yeah. Yeah, but one one thing I've been hearing about from the Foxes is that that Nair into up smash, that Nair put is very easily punishable. So if they stay in shield, they will die. <laughs> right. Like they can't get punished. Really hard for it. Oh, that's that's what makes it uh, punishing Ivysaur's like let's get up just that much more difficult is that they drop down and use the up B as a uh, offensive tool. Yeah. And Sweet Tea always loves to throw out those uh, razor uh, those razor leaves off stage because they can't be punished, and they lean into Confirms. That's right, they do. A great zoning tool that can lead into Confirm. Kind of sounds like something Toon Link would have, or a Young Link. Yeah. With the Lynx. Oh. There it is, using that Vine Whip again, poking through the stage. Uh, it's honestly a cheese tactic. <laughs> hey, you got to use what you got. Yeah. Because right now, both these players kill percent. Last stock apiece. Whoever takes game one, of course, is going to have a huge advantage going into this set. Oh, great read coming in from Sweet Tea. That, that jump read coming in for Sweet Tea, closing out the stock, and with how how big Ivy Swords up air is, there was no way getting out of that. That's right, Sweet Tea able to clutch out game one thanks to the large up air that Ivy Sword has. But ZD, of course, this is gonna this is gonna be a best of five, I believe. Yeah, this is best of five. If if East and Pandarian was best of five, this should also this definitely should, be, a should be a best of five. Yeah. Oh, wow, Sweet Tea to go up game one against ZD. It was like, of course, one of the special guests that we have here. And ZD opting to go to Wolf. What? I mean, that's, a lot of people would say that's a good move. It is. Like, Wolf is, I feel like Wolf does have better tools against Squirtle. You know, like, Wolf is practically a sword character. Yeah, Wolf gets comboed a bit, but now he has, now he can kind of zone out with the pair. But if he gets hit by Sweet Tea, Sweet Tea will hit him constantly over and over again.
I mean, you also have to think about just the way that ZD was playing. He wasn't able to really ledge guard Sweet T that much with Fox. But now that he's Wolf, he has access to F tilt, which will hit below the ledge. Down smash hits below the ledge. So now he has a few more tools. Yeah, but a, a more exploitable recovery. That's, good, that's the trade off. That's true. It does have a more exploitable recovery, but his recovery was ex being exploited as it was. Yeah. So maybe taking someone with a quote, worse recovery uh, isn't such a bad trade. Yeah, but <laughs> it's still. I mean, he would have gotten hit by that if he was Fox. Yeah, same old song and dance. And Sweet Tea just covering everything perfectly. Down throw to Nair into up air, missing out on that one, though. Okay, trying to fish for those back airs. Gets a cross up back air. Look oh. at these razor leaves, though. Nair coming in from uh, ZD. This is a, his opportunity to, like, punish him. But there's the forward tilt, now, but it was the wrong way. But, I mean, at this point, he's just trying to keep Sweet Tea off the stage. He can look for a kill later. We're going to see a forward and down throw. Yeah. And yeah. I like the down throw over the forward throw because it does send him at that angle where he's going to have to recover high. He's not going to be able to throw too many razor leaves. Now, one thing I want to criticize Sweet Tea on right now is that he's cornering himself. I mean, I but it's working. It is working. But he got 56% by saving in the corner. I guess so. Uh, okay. I, I, like, usually, I, I feel like it's a bad idea because you can't really run through people's shield now. It's so scary. I mean, but that was never his, his, his plan. He wanted to sit there and throw razor leaves. Yeah, and, and hit vine whips. Yeah, and to live. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Steve Vine. Okay, so now we see that the tables have turned a little bit. ZD playing a little bit more defensive. Okay, using the Wolf Flash to make back to stage. And, ooh, good recovery. Oh, oh, no, you can't get back on the stage against Ivysaur. I thought he was able, he was going to be able to weave around the down airs, but he wasn't. And he wasn't able to what? He wasn't able to weave. <laughs> Bob and weave. That's Bob the name weave. of the game. Oh, the Nair taking out the stock. Wow, and that's unfortunate for Sweet T because he had quite a lead. Oh, no. Oh, okay, man, okay. He, he tried oh. to cheese the hell out of that stock. My heart. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's, that's a, an insane play coming in from Sweet T. He's so aggressive right now. That's right, but, I mean, you got to be careful of Squirtle. This is how he lost his stock very early in, uh, for his second stock. I mean, that down smash, if that had connected with Timber, that might have been the game. Yeah, that could have. He is really light. He needs to be careful of that. That Nair out of shield, though. A fair into a fair, not connecting, but he, he's actually able to chase him. A good back air to punish. Is keeping ZD on the defense. That was a scary switch. Oh, but the up air doesn't matter. Taking him out. That big up air coming in clutch again. He is still in this 2 0 sweet T. Actually, look at the crowd right now. Yeah, oh, on the other side of the camera. <laughs> not, 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 not on ZD's a, camera, not, look at the other side. Look at the other angle. Can we get the other angle? <laughs> yeah, I know. Huh? I mean, people are just tuning in. Everyone's like, kind of watching because this is going to be a big upset and change the entire uh, bracket lineup. The bracket seating. But Sweet T is really looking for, like, really wants to get into that SoCal PR. He's been putting in the work. He's been taking games off a lot of people. He took a game off I'm Hip. He took a game off of, uh, I forgot who, but a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's taking a lot of people, a lot of sets, and now we see back to Fox, ZD goes. Yeah, and um, this is a weird stage. Usually Fox has never really liked the stage, historically, you know? Right, yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting that we don't see any platforms. Oh, man, he doesn't cross up anymore. <laughs> I mean, people are going to be messing that, that punish for, I, I would say, for like an entire year. Yeah. Until, until like, just a majority of the of the community realizes that illusion doesn't go past you. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's, it's a weird thing to get over, you know? Yes, it is. It is. Oh, and there's the Razor Leafs getting him off stage. But now recovering low enough. Whoa, great bullet scene. But that's not what he wanted to do. I thought he could have finished the stock off right there. Oh, he's definitely looking to finish the stock, and he lands it down no. there. And a back throw. Woo! Woo what was that DI? It doesn't matter what that <laughs> DI was. He was out of here. Yeah, he was gone. Oh, man. Sweet T putting in all this pressure. There's the Nair coming out, though. Yeah, but of course, the large recovery of the Vine Whip going to allow him to get back. ZD does land a back air. But what is the punish? Oh, he does not throw. care. He's st I'll stay in shield all day. <laughs> I don't need to worry about you. What are you going to do? Grab me? I mean, even if he did grab me, he's not going to get much for it. And just the damage continues for Sweet T. ZD.
looking a little flustered. Yeah, he can't. Like, this is also an awkward percent because up, this is where Nair up smash doesn't really work that much anymore. Right. Now he has to do it for like a, he has to go for a harder rate. That's right. He's going to have to almost, he's got to earn his stock. Is that crash up back here? That will earn him the stock. Yeah, that will work. That will work out for him. And, but now, uh, we're in Squirtle form and getting him up to 90%. This is where usually where Sweet Sweet wants to switch right now. Yeah, he, I was wondering, I was thinking like, why isn't he just like switching and just going directly into, into Ivysaur because he's already at, at us, you know, that mid higher percent. But he maybe just does want ZD to get too accustomed to his Ivysaur. I, it's that, and also he doesn't want to get punished for switching. That's true. There's the fair not killing just yet. There's the back here is getting him all into weird spots. Oh, he's but looking for the pivot grab. Yeah, but this is a really bad spot for Sweet Tea now. He lost his jump. Okay. Oh, uh, when I saw the circle. Well, he, <laughs> he can lose his jump, but if he switches to Charizard, he gets it back. That's true. There's Charizard. Oh, but the fair retaliation. No, I'm smash for you. And the Ivysaur comes out right away. Oh, man, actually, he was going for a hard read, trying to get him with the up air, but there's an up smash on the get up attack. That's right. ZD bringing back the stocks one apiece, hanging on to his winner's side life. ZD, what is he going to do? Oh, he got up. He got up thrown, but nothing much out of it. ZD. He's kind of waiting patiently. He's trying to slow the game down. He knows he knows that that's kind of what Jacob's looking at. Um, Sweet Tea's looking for. I mean, Sweet Tea wants to take the pace that, of course, that he's been playing the game at, which is very in ZD's face. And then, you know, he's pushing in the momentum and tempo in his favor. ZD slowing down the game, trying to make it his game. Yeah. Oh, that's a weird rip draw, but you can't punish him with a forward smash. Oh, great down smash. No, like not going to get him. Yeah, good stall from ZD. Making sure that uh, Jacob or Sweet Team misspaces the, the down air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we go. There's the fair. He didn't get him with the up air. But oh! he's all way off stage. But he is going to be able to make it back up tilt. That was so scary. The punish. You got to be careful with this Charizard. Don't get back thrown for, or up thrown. I mean, just so many options at this point. Looks scary, but the switch to Squirtle. Yeah, he, he wants to go back to Ivysaur. He definitely wants to go back to Ivysaur, but he's trying to get him at a disadvantage. I'm trying to. Oh, there There's no. Switch. Good switch from I'm sorry, acting like an air dodge. Now it's Snare, out of shield. Oh, great, re great reflector. Here's the dash attack, it's the up air, there's the stock. ZD hanging in this set, taking game three. Showing some life. Yeah, man, yeah. He, was, he was looking, he was looking flustered, but like, as soon as ZD slowed the game down, right, brought it down good. to his pace, it looked a lot, it looked a lot better for him. And that's really like what ZD needs to do. He needs to play the game at his tempo. He needs to play his game, not Sweetie's. Exactly. And it, it seems weird because like Ivysaur is a, practically a sword character and you usually want to like kind of go for a spacing game with the Ivysaur, but not not Sweet Tea. Sweet Tea right. is like making, like doing all these safe, aggressive like bears and just kind of like suffocating ZD. Actually, he's doing more with Squirtle this game than anything else. And then kind of finishing off the stocks with the Ivysaur, with the pressure on of Ivysaur. Right, right. I mean, very, using Charizard every every now and then, but very situational. Yeah. Yeah, but now, actually, I'm surprised that Sweet Tea let him go back to FD. You know? He ran it back. I, I felt like he was doing a lot better with the platforms. He was, but I mean... Maybe he just doesn't feel like that the stage is necessarily what played a part yeah. in, in losing game three. Yeah, maybe, like, maybe he just wants to keep his momentum. Like, you know, you just run it back. Like, <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Very true. Just jump right back into it. Yeah, just keep your adrenaline going, you know? Oh, okay. great. And I like this. Sweet Tea has, he's taking it at ZD's pace now, but he's still coming out on top. He's just winning the neutral trades, uh, the neutral exchanges. But now, now he's a little bit bigger. We see some more damage getting put on him. Oh, once again, you need to be careful of Ivysaur on the ledge. They love doing that. Oh, he caught the jump. They're not going to kill just yet. Up B. Now we're in Charizard form. This is where he was a grab. There we go. <laughs> wow. The quickest of grabs. Yeah. Oh, not switching. I would have expected him to switch a little earlier. Oh, I mean, he, Charizard is a little bit, he's a little easier to hit, but a little harder to kill. Yeah. In that instance, though, dash attack up air, easy bread and butter for ZD. 
and they take that stock. Maybe he was kind of sacrificing the stock because he wanted to be in Squirtle immediately after dying. Maybe that's that's a that's some next level thought. Yeah. But there's the fair getting him off up there. Oh, uh, I think it went up the. Uh, that he doesn't miss a fight. Oh, there's Good. the up tilt. Actually, that's great spot dodge. Spot dodge into conversion. Good punish. But now it's there. Cross up. Oh, what was that air dodge? The pre I don't the, think he has his jump either. Yeah, the, the stress of this game. Oh, wow, the third one. He, they'll never expect me to do it again. Truly, truly <laughs> the greatest, the biggest brains of plays. Up throw. Is he looking for his up smash? Oh, the back air. Oh, great bear. Covering the roll from CD. And there. Oh, he was trying to go for an up tilt. He was trying to go for something. Get. So I like that ZD had it back to Sweet Tea, but he immediately rolled out because the back throw at that percent is either going to put him in a horrible position. Oh no, that was unfortunate! That is extremely unfortunate. That was the back throw of the century. Flamethrower to just uh, get Sweet Tea a little bit of space and another dash attack going to connect on a charge. Line. That's how he lost his first stock. Don't want to get hit by that. Both of these players are feeling the pressure. I mean, both of them are at kill percent. Sweet Tea uh, having access. Oh! Ooh, just a little late on the grab. That would have been the stock, but the landing up there. Yo, that was sick. That was extremely sick. You see how the crowd popping off. I know. <laughs> now using the shines to send a couple razor leaves back. Oh, no, he went to the up there, but he missed out. This is the stock. No, it's not. He didn't go for the dare. Okay, conversion damage. Vortex starting for ZD. Oh, that was a confirm, but he missed. Uh, no, he was, he was a little far back. Good air dodge from Sweet Tea with the Pokemon Switch. Oh, there's a grab. That's the stock. Switch to uh, uh, Squirtle. But is that 73%? Is it really smart to be in Squirtle? You're already at kill percent. Yeah, it might be. He needs to get that percent now. See, look, he's swinging. He's, he know, ZD knows that he can kill Squirtle right now. He can kill Squirtle right now. But this is his best opportunity at, like, damage. But now he's going to Ivysaur. He's just going to try to uh, zone him out, trying to get him with the fairs, trying to get him with the layers at least. Couple parries, and he tried to get the illusion. But ooh, Oh, no, he missed the last, last, hit, last hit of... Bullet Seed. He didn't get punished too hard. He only got up throw. Oh, but the up smash. Great read coming out from um, ZD. The crowd popping off. Wow. The Sweet Tea. I hope, um, you know, now that, now that Sweet Tea has actually lost his second game on Final Destination, I'm hoping that he takes a second to uh, think about maybe a different stage. Maybe it necessarily isn't the stage that's causing him to, to lose the game, but Changing the stage, changing the scenery in general doesn't hurt. Yeah. Like, I would even like him to, like, take a couple more seconds at character select. Just give ZD uh, pretty much, like, ice his opponent. Give him an opportunity to they just, like, slow down, cool him off. But they went back to FD. So, I, so we come to the conclusion that Sweet T probably just doesn't really care about the scene. Well, like, like, he... He doesn't feel like the stage is the problem. Regardless of what it is, it's yeah. game five between C Sweet T and CT. Yeah, but right now, oh, he went for the the BPFB. Not really doing much out of it. Uh, no punish coming in from CD. Yeah, I mean it was risky move, but he, he didn't get punished for it. So Squirtle throwing up on him. Okay, his water guns are for spacing again. We're it's a play, Sweet T. Nair out of shield. Oh, directional air dodge. Oh, that almost recovery. cost him his stock. Yeah. And that's kind of one of the differences between Fox and Wolf. Fox has the opportunity to go for those, like, awkward angles. Right, right. And while Wolf mainly usually just has to go straight to the ledge. So one thing that ZD's been able to call out from Sweet T is that as soon as uh, ZD is actually able to land a Nair, uh, ZD or Sweet T will automatically. Oh no, jump. he got the tech read. He got the tech read, got the up smash, and he continues to take Sweet T's jumps when during the juggle. And it's just taking away one of his recovery options. Now he's stuck as Charizard. Yeah, he's stuck as Charizard. He needs to switch. No, he doesn't want to. Oh, great. That was like a spot dodge. That was. I mean, Pokemon Switch, best, best dodge in the game. Honestly. Best dodge in the game. Sometimes it moves you up a tier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Switching to Ivysaur. Oh, the but the, air. the conversion into up smash. There's the, and the momentum shift is real now. 
That's right, TD looking very comfortable on Final Destination. This is definitely his pick for, for, the, for the win. Yeah. Dash attack not really working out. No. And now ZD seems to seems to have found his spacing against the Squirtle. Right. Oh, oh great withdrawal great. And then even pushing him back a little bit. We're gonna look for the down air. Doesn't even attempt it. I think he was going to, but he accidentally landed on the floor. Well, I mean that's just these small mistakes are what adding up for Sweet T. Oh, and he can't go for that. He's got his number on that move. All right, and ZD able to take the set over Sweet T, reverse 3 0 him, yeah. and advancing in bracket. GG ZD. Yeah, that was, a, that was an intense game. It was. I mean, all five of those games were intense because they were either came down to the wire, and in the first two games, uh, Sweet T was able to clutch it out. Yeah. And then after that, we saw the run back 3 0 from ZD. Yeah, ZD like, looked like he was getting like kind of hit back and forth. That's but right. It's all good. It, it was a, it was a fun game, and it was great commentating. They were all fun games. It's Kanye. It's been a while since we commentated together. You know, yeah. good stuff. It was a pleasure commentating for you. Yeah. That's gonna be the end of our block. If you like the way we sound, follow yeah. us on Twitter at two g underscore zfly and Kanye the giant da giant so two fifty nine. <laughs> so again, yeah. if you like what we were, and you want to know more about us or where we're gonna be at, be sure to follow us on Twitter. Uh, we're gonna have more. Smash Brothers Ultimate Action for you here at Nimbus in just a few minutes, so don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ultimate Nimbus. I am Slep, joined by Vance. Vance, how you doing today? Pleasure to be here with your Slep. How's it going, man? Well, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. We've got some great matches coming up for you guys. Uh, namely, right now we're about to see Tweak versus TLTC. Yeah. I believe this is 